Good morning and welcome. I'm at Ryerson University today where I'm filming this particular episode on domestic terrorism in Canada and specifically Toronto. reason I've chosen to film here at Ryerson today is because actually um, this particular university as well as uh, many other universities that have radical student unions are very much involved in indoctrinating and radicalizing students. I'm going to get to that into, uh, in, in another episode, not too distant in the future. But I wanted to talk to you today about um, something that I started on with uh, the, the last episode with Saeed Hussain. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about another one of uh, Canada's top domestic terrorists, Alex Hundert. Alex Hundert is a domestic terrorist like, so very much unlike what, something that you've seen a lot. I mean, this guy is quite possibly the worst of the worst, and he is by all means the leader or the number one uh, person with the Antifa and anarchist movement in Canada. Absolutely nothing goes on without his knowledge and in many cases his approval. However, he himself doesn't necessarily always enact all of these acts himself. He is to the anarchist movement and the Antifa movement what Osama bin Laden has been to Al-Qaeda, very much a figurehead. Stays in the shadows quite a bit, although in the hundreds of cases, of course, he will come out periodically. Um, he, he probably won't do a whole lot of the smashing and terrorizing himself. But his influence, just because of who he is, is such that people will go to great lengths just to basically ingratiate themselves to him by taking unnecessary and stupid risks and, uh, and enacting some of the more crazy things. The G20 would be a perfect example. Alex Hunter, of course, was not at the G20. He was arrested before that. But he was charged because he was the person who was in charge of selecting the targets, making sure that they had people smashing them and destroying them. Exactly like what bin Laden did with, uh, with uh, Al-Qaeda. Bin Laden himself was involved in 9-11 as a terrorist, but he was the one who organized it, um, decided who was going to go, planned it all out. Alex Hunter is very much the same. If there's any question as to the type of uh, violence that Alex Hunter does, um, you just have to look at just a couple of screenshots of, of some of his antics. You know, for example, kill Whitey, smash this, smash that. He spent time in prison for his uh, crimes, where in fact he was in solitary confinement because he wanted to organize and radicalize the prisoners over there into acts of violence. This is all, and these are his words, not other people's words. So yeah, he spent time in solitary confinement for that. Police, of course, know where he is. He's in, he's in the Kingston right now uh, doing a master's program there. Um, police, of course, know where he is, but he keeps just enough under the radar that he doesn't attract enough attention to have him arrested all the time. Although he does get arrested often enough for things like assaults and thing, that, that, that sort of thing. Um, is he a very violent person? Oh, you better believe he is. He's, he's a highly dangerous individual. And because, like I said, he, he is a student at uh, the university out in uh, Kingston, um, there's no question that he's probably trying to radicalize students over there, obviously the more left-wing and radical-minded students. He's definitely trying to have them radicalized over there. There's no mistake that this guy is absolutely, positively a significant danger to the safety and security of this country. And in other episodes I'm going to demonstrate as well how Antifa, the group that he's the head of, as well as the anarchist movement, that he is also of course the head of, are, ex are in fact exactly that, domestic terrorist organizations. And I'm going to show this through their own words and through their own actions with videos and uh, other, other materials that I've dug up over the years. Um, 
if there's any question as to whether this group is a dangerous organization, I guess the next uh, video is going to definitely put that to rest for sure. But as you as you watch this and uh, read some of the stuff that I've got on screenshot throughout the video, this is one guy, Alexander, that needs a great deal of attention. I mean, a lot of attention is going, of course, to Muslim terrorists, and rightfully so. But a lot of attention needs to be focused on this guy as well, because this guy, through his network, can cause some very, very significant and serious damage to the infrastructure of this country, to the country's financial well-being, as well as to the physical appearance of our cities and stuff like that because of the damage that him, through his, uh, his um, Neanderthals, will cause. Be aware of this guy, know what he looks like, and have nothing to do with this guy. This guy, this guy is bad news all around. So hopefully the police are watching this too. I mean, they, they know who this guy is, but uh, just keep in mind that this guy is bad news, and we're going to show this in the next episode. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next one.